Hey, what's going on everyone? Richie here. Thanks for joining me in this video. And I'm going to show off this error awful card from a MetaZoo first edition wilderness pack that I pulled myself uh, straight from a spell book. I'll play that actual, I actually recorded that opening. I'll play that at the end of this video just so it can be shown. And so, if you can't tell already what the error here is, is that the hollow background is missing all everywhere except, coincidentally, inside of the sun. Like, literally right inside of that sun in the background is the only part where the hollow is, as you can see, just for comparison's sake. So this awful on the left, full hollow, regular, no error. Awful to the right. Pretty obvious. So I'll go back to the comparisons. As of the up, um, the time of the upload of this video, I have this listed, this card here listed on eBay for $1,500 or best offer. <laughs> and I know if you're watching this video, what you're thinking, like, oh, look, another fool who pulled an error card thinks this card's worth a fortune. I'll have some thoughts about that, but I'll explain the price. Uh, it's for a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't really want to sell it. So kind of what you would do in that situation when you don't know how to price something and you're looking to sell it. And then you just throw it up on auction, like a seven day auction at a good time. See what it uh, bids up to, especially a MetaZoo. So I don't want to really want to sell it at this point, but I am fielding offers just, just out of curiosity to kind of see what people might be interested in you know with this card uh, number two it's good exposure um, especially for my ebay store right now i'm selling and off offloading my pokemon collection so it's when someone's buying or searching through cards typically i would think what most people do is that they find something they like they're going to check other listings the seller has so Part of me thinks that these Pokemon buyers could check my store and then see what else I have and then see this card. And that could be their first exposure to MetaZoo. Like, oh, uh, what the heck's this? Why is a MetaZoo card selling for over fit or listed for over $1,500? What? What? I got to check this out. So that's number two. And then number three. Um, I know a buddy online is really interested in error cards, so, you know, when it's all said and done, I could get offers of, like, 100 or 200 bucks, and then I just shoot him a message, like, say, hey, it's the highest offer I got, it's all yours for that price, and I could save him, you know, 50 to 100 dollars or more in trade value, or just buying it outright, so, and lastly, you just never know, you never know what, um, is gonna spark someone's interest, Especially with a card like this. So that's what I wanted to transition to talking about error cards. I feel like there's kind of three criteria with uh, if you come across an error card, can the value of it increase if you're selling it? Can you ask for a premium, in other words? And so the three criteria that I kind of come up with is... How desirable is the card to begin with, non-error? Number two, how recognizable is the error itself? Like, especially in MetaZoo, I feel like this applies. Because if you have to explain the error to someone, it's probably not going to catch their interest. Like, if you're like, oh yeah, you got to flip the card sideways under blue light and you got to put on these 3d glasses at four o'clock in the evening yeah that's probably not going to go over well to just your casual collector but in this case with awful uh, look at that you can just tell right away there's no explaining you look at the card oh look that's not not hollow what else is interesting about this card is it doesn't come in non-hollow in this set. And then, on top of that, the only hollow part in this card is the sun, literally. So, it, like, there's, like, a story with this card. And then, 
a third part of the criteria is how many other errors comparable are, are available. And so far, from what I can tell, I've seen, I think, two awful cards posted where, like, the hollow's missing. But there's um, still some hollow in the card. This is the only one that I've seen where, like, just about all the hollow is missing in the background. But it being in the sun is just, like, almost an added... It makes it even better than it not being completely non-hollow, in my opinion. Somebody else could have a different opinion. Somebody could not care at all. Somebody could, you know, when it, especially when it's a non-hollow card. Somebody's like, eh, honestly, the, let's just be real. The hollow card looks better. We all know if Awful had a non-hollow version in this set, then nobody would care about it. Everybody would want the hollow version. But I really think this particular card pops with the non-hollow. Like, there's just something about, like, the outlining. You can see it. It really makes this the bird just like jump out of the card in a way. I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of overselling it, but that's just the way it kind of looks to me. When you put them side by side, it kind of looks like the awful on the right is almost 3D in a way. Maybe you can see it, maybe not on video. And so, you know, just to kind of explain this point more... I actually pulled two error cards, very similar in concept. So here's a Germanite. Typically this card is all hollow, and as you can see, only the middle is. The difference between this and the non-hollow awful error card, fortunately for Germanite, there's already a non-hollow version. So as you can see, obviously it's different. In the non-hollow actual version, the card's a little brighter in the background. So in here, it's it has that darker pattern because it was supposed to be full hollow, but only the middle section got it. But it kind of spreads out a little more. As you can see, like up top, you can kind of see the hollows starting to spread out. But down here, obviously there's there's nothing. But like I said, there's another, already a non-hollow Germany, so it's not like I'm going to list this for $1,500. Wouldn't really make any sense, would it? And that's what makes this awful card so unique, in my opinion. The air is easily identifiable. Awful itself is a very desirable card. And there's no non-hollow version of this card in the set itself. And so I'll just kind of show the card kind of close up. I don't PSA grade or do any grading at this point. I don't really believe in grading. Um, but if somebody were to grade this, I would think it would probably get an 8 or a 9. And that's because there's edge wear, as you can see, straight out of the pack. Edge wear kind of up top on the sides. Here's what the back looks like. Kind of like a speck on the middle, speck there, all part of the out of the pack kind of issues that it had. But otherwise, it's a great looking, nice story error card in my opinion. So one more time, just show you the comparison here. One thing that's really hard to pick up that is easy to see in person and a little bit easier in photos is there's technically the stars in the background for the hollow. Like let's see here you can see all the stars. It's hard to pick up in video on this. Um but you can check the photos out that I'll have listed. You'll be able to see those. So yeah. Um, one last time and it's really hard when you have the hollow to kind of visualize what this card looks like so this is like the closest I can get you got to hold it at this weird angle so you, but obviously it's really hard to look at the card and when it's in person I can see 
kind of like the hollow pattern that isn't picking up on the camera like right now it's just very hard to mimic this version of the error card in person well, anyway i think i've rambled enough hope you guys enjoyed i'll like i said i'm gonna add in the video recording of me opening the pack live where i pulled this hope you enjoyed thanks